the perfect home for me is where me and my cats are if i'm lucky my son is with me in that home that would be really the perfect home whatever you see that's on the walls or the furniture you see those are just representative of where i am at a certain point in my life this didn't look like this last year hi my name is michelle this is anina welcome to our home when i try to complete the space there's no concept really it's more like i want my my house to take the shape of how i live my life on a daily basis so you'll see objects that at one point or another attracted me to them or i thought it represented a certain period a certain time um, in my life or perhaps i wanted a memento from that city my favorite furniture is this pk22 chair if you think about it paul care home designed this in 1955 and it's still as beautiful now as it was then at the, the time that he designed it um, i like the the subtle relationship of the chairs with the space wherever you put it um, and the the technical design of, of the normally i don't like uh, anything that's cold steel I gravitate towards warm pieces like wood but this just displays the purest and most refined engineering in material really I mean this chair that's why I love it and then uh, the subtleness the softness of the leather and there's a concave it's just so comfortable to sit on um, this is my favorite chair and but my cat's favorite chairs as well you mean how did they design the space with me in mind <laughs> i'm just nakikitira lang ako dito sa kanila <laughs> when i got the cats i mean this was already everything was in place already so whatever we have like their the cat condo and the donuts and all the toys i mean it's just naturally integrated themselves into the space I think when you love something or when you or when you love someone it just blends. I mean it, there's no effort at all. I mean it's not a big space pero naisingit ko yung condo nila. I have the toys, I have the cat, the, the litter boxes. I like collecting art, um, if it's not obvious already. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, I like visiting galleries. Uh, so I go uh, gallery hopping with my friends. And when I see something that I want to live with, I want to see on my walls, um, then I, I decide to purchase. So the Mark Aran Reyes, there's a story behind this really. I went to the opening of Art Underground. So there was a raffle to, you know, for a right to purchase one of his pieces because he's one of the most coveted artists um, locally. So I, I put my name, guess what? They called my name. <laughs> and so I, I was so lucky to have been able to purchase this light box from him. So this is very memorable, actually. Another favorite of mine is the Bjorn Kalieha piece. It's a painting of his uh, pamangkin. 
that's the very first art piece that I bought with my own money. Actually, so it's it's very memorable. Later on, I got to work with Bjorn with Solano. We had a collab, so I really really wanted to work with him. So I started Solano Lamps during the pandemic. At first, I just really was looking for lamps that that I want to have in my home. I couldn't find any, and then my friend Ram introduced me to this lamp maker. So we went there. I made 10 in four days. It sold out. So, and then I made another 10. It sold out again, and that's how Solano Lamp started. You know, I really have uh, my very good friend Ram to thank for that. He introduced me to the world of lamps. Na para na akong sisiu sa kwarto. In my small room, I have four lamps, but I'm happy. Believe it or not, there was a time when I thought hats didn't suit my 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 face. Uh, but here we are. I mean, there's a wall. <laughs> I don't know. I just keep buying hats, but then <laughs> it makes me happy. I think I like it. I think it completes your your look, your outfit. I first saw the that Taho bench when um, Selena Placino posted it. I believe she had a show in Singapore. I immediately knew I wanted to have it. I just feel like the design is just so simple and it's just so inspired and it's very well made. The materials are also beautiful with the kapis and, and, and the wood. The contrast of the wood against the, the the steel, it's just a beautiful piece. I think design is not just about redoing your house, but about how you live in that house, how you create experiences and memories, and what makes you a little bit more happy. You know, like at the end of the day, you, you get home, you're tired from work, and you just sit in one corner, like, like this is my favorite corner right here at night 
and I look at the stars, <laughs> I look at the, um, this beautiful work by Reen Abrogena, it makes me smile. I think good design and beauty in general affects every aspect of our lives, whether we are aware of it or we are not. It just, I find that it also affects one's moods. And since we're in a home setting, you know, when like I come home and I see beautiful pieces, I see beautiful designs. It just makes me happy. It, it inspires, it moves something within me. Um, I believe design and beauty will save the world, really. For more insightful videos on design, subscribe to Design Will Save the World.